Well, that just about wraps it up for Sports Talk today. Well, you know what? We actually have time for one more caller. Caller, what you got? Hi, guys. I got a quick Griff Ball question. Okay, go ahead. How do you think Team Slip Space is going to do this year? Now, who do you say, Slip Space? So, Bert, how do you think Slip Space is going to do this year? Well, I mean, just consider their division, right? They've got Overcharge, and they've got Drop Pods in that same division. What about the situation with Cannonball? Well, yeah, the situation with Cannonball is messed up, but they'll get it worked out, I'm sure. I mean, they could recruit an entire new team for Cannonball and still be better than Slip Space. Slip Space finished last season 1-11. I wouldn't be surprised, honestly, if you didn't see one of their games on TV this year. All right, strong opinions. That about does it today. And if you did, nobody would watch it. Tune in tomorrow. We'll have more information about the announcement from the Grip Ball. Hey, Tank. Tank? Hey, yo, that's my favorite blocker. Hello? Tank. I'm Tank. That's me, Tank. Hey, Tank, do you have any idea where the rest of the guys are? Hi, Flint. Yes, hello, Tank, again. Okay, listen, I need to find the team. Coach says the league is making an announcement. Uh, you mean our coach? Yes, Tank, our coach. Meeting. Team. Do you know where Jacques and the Rookie are? Yeah, I do. Practice. Third practice. Okay, great. You stay right here. I'll go get him. Okay, Flint. You get everybody for the meeting, Flint? Working on a coach. Well, hurry it up! I'm working on a coach. Maybe if y'all got in one place at one time, we might actually win a game this season. Working on it, coach. Today, I want to cover the ball carrying. Now, what do you think it takes to be the good ball carrier? Oh, I don't know. What about hands? No, it takes the mind inside your brain. I see. Carry the ball with my mind. So you're going to teach me telekinesis. How long is this training session going to be? No, merde. You have to realize what all good ball carriers know. When you carry the ball, the ball does not exist. It is just you, and you have no ball. Yeah, that sounds like an insult. You have to think like the ball. I thought there was no ball. We. Oui. No ball. So I have to think like something that isn't there. Exactement. You have to clear your mind. You must forget all your bad habits. My bad habits? Yes, your bad habits. Bad habits. Okay, I'll forget my whatever it is you just said. Hey, how's it going, guys? Great. Fantastic. Very good progress. Coach wants to see us. The league has some kind of press conference, and they want to... Press conference? Great. Love those. Let's pick this up later. <sighs> that boy has a lot of bad habits. Yes, he does. Whatever the hell that means. Great! Everybody's here. Now we can get this show a moving. Hey, guys. Bonjour, le tank. Hey! Somebody turn that up! Yeah, I got it. Stu Stuman here for UNS in Sports. The commissioner for the International Griffball League of Earth has called the press to their headquarters on very short notice. Man. I hate that guy. You hate the commissioner or the reporter? Man, I hate those guys. Okay, I understand he's ready. Let's turn it over to the commish. Well, hello everyone. Thank you for coming today and in such short order. Maybe I'll announce a pay raise. I'm very excited to bring this announcement to you today. He's excited. It's not a pay raise. As you know, Griffball is the single fastest growing sport in the entire universe. And as such, the Eagle has a responsibility to its fans and to its players. Responsibility to the players? Think they'll turn off the exploding ball? That certainly would lower our health care premiums. The ball explodes? Only when we score. Oh, well, there's nothing to worry about then, right? Our responsibility is to bring Griffball to as many fans as we possibly can. That's why I'm proud to announce today that we are adding an all-new expansion team to the league. What? Who cares about that? Yes, thank you. My idea. Makes sense. Our conference is down a team because of what happened to Team Cannonball. What happened to Cannonball? After they won the Griff Bowl last season, they, um... Let's just say they spent a little too much time celebrating their win. Yeah! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about! Uh, hey, guys. Maybe we should get away from the bar. <laughs> Poor cannon people. Hey, their loss is our gain. We should be able to beat an expansion team, right? Those guys have to suck. Excuse me, Commissioner. Stu Stuman, UNS in Sports. Is this team going to replace Cannonball? While they will be filling in Cannonball's spot in the division with the drop pods, overcharge, and slip space. Yeah, that's yes, right. Oh, right. Oh, oh, shut up, you idiots. They said our name. They won't be using any of Cannonball's former players. Because they're all dead. Yes, because of that. But also for salary cap reasons. 
No, Team Heretic will have an all-new roster featuring players that have never played a single game in the Iggle before. Yes, told you. Heretic? That's a weird name. Man, I hope we get him in game one. It would be nice to warm up on some chumps before we have to play some real teams. But I know you're all anxious to meet them, so without further ado, please welcome the members of Team Heretic! <laughs> They look mean. Hey, can I retire during my first season? Is that technically possible? How about traded? Can I be traded? Like to a new team? Or sport? Not particular. And the story everyone is talking about, the Intergalactic Griffball League's first ever all-elite team. Who knows how this will impact play. Elites? Have you ever played against elites before? Yeah, sure. We used to play pickup games back during the war. You know, between battles, when they weren't turning our planets into big chunks of glass. Really? No, not really. Shut up and watch the TV. The TV is smarter than you. Reaction around the league has been mixed. Some don't like the idea, while others hate the idea. With me tonight is the all-star forward, Pounder McJones. Pounder, your thoughts? My thoughts? My thoughts are that it sucks. You believe it will affect the way the game is played? They're eight feet tall, man. During the war, they could kill ten men. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to affect the game. So you disagree with the commissioner's decision? Of course. This league has history. You can't just let one guy make decisions like that. When you say history, you do realize the Griffball Leagues have only played two full seasons, right? Yeah, and this guy is just pissing all over 17 months of time-honored tradition. Here for rebuttal is the captain of Team Heretic. sa ah 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 I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. That is a lot of apostrophes. Oh, hey. Uh, nobody told me this was going to be a dual interview. Now, Sa Anger, uh, alien guy, Pounder says your inclusion in the league will affect the game negatively. Uh, that's, he's paraphrasing. That's a misquote. He also says your inclusion in the Griffball League is, quote, pissing all over 17 months of tradition, end quote. Uh, that's out of context. You see, I could have, that doesn't sound like anything I'd say. Alien person, your response to these sensational comments. Whoa, 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 hey, there's no, there's no reason to- Oh! Oh! Oh, he stabbed me! Oh, shit! Clearly some uh, strong uh, opinions. Uh, he's still stabbing me! <laughs> well, clearly no love lost here. Save it for the court, you two. We'll be right back after this short break. Seriously, guys, he's not stopping! Just come up! Just call the police! Anybody, please! You can use my phone! Just turn that thing off. Oh, he stabbed my phone! I think you'll see this only means good things for you and the League. But mainly the League, right, Commissioner? Oh, absolutely. I think that goes without saying. And yet I said it anyway. Hey, everybody. Wait, what's the Commissioner doing here? He's trying to sell us on this elite team. Just think about it. Endorsements. A bigger audience. Endorsements. You already said that one. Corporate sponsorship is an important part of running the League. Just who do you think pays for all these uniforms? We do. You take money out of all our paychecks. Well, that's just standard policy. They told me that was for taxes. The League has already picked up three new markets and five new sponsorships. What kind of company would run ads because of aliens? Why, alien companies, of course. They want to reach our new audience. Just a few moments ago, we signed a lucrative deal with some kind of food nipple distributor thingy guy. I don't understand a whole lot of it. All I know is that they pay in cash. This is the future of the League, fellas. It's why I've agreed to coach their team. Wait, you're coaching the elite team? Yes. Well, are you stepping down as commissioner? And why would I do that? Because it would be a conflict of interest? Because you never played the game? Because you're a crappy commissioner? All terrible reasons. I can coach our new superstar championship team that's going to be the highlight of the entire league and still continue my impartial duties as commissioner. What if someone files a grievance against your team? Who would do something so stupid? Someone with a grievance? An opponent who feels that your team has an unfair advantage? Well, that sounds like whining to me. I would have to suspend them, and then give Team Heretic a forfeit win. And as coach of Team Heretic, I would humbly accept that decision. That's impartial? Sometimes being commish means making tough choices. Yeah, sounds like it. It ain't easy being at the top, buddy. Let me tell you. Now come on. Change isn't easy. I would think the first team to play Team Heretic would be happy about the opportunity being presented to them. Oh, no. So who is the first team? Oh, no. You guessed it. Team Slipspace. Oh, man. They're going to be really happy. Has anybody told them yet? That's us, Tank. 
Oh. Are we happy? No, Tank. We're not happy. That's too bad. I like being happy. Me too, Tank. Listen, I just wanted to let you guys know that we got the three numbers back. And the controversy behind the Pounder McJones incident... You mean the McJones murder? ...has taken the hype surrounding our match to an astronomical level. They say the broadcast could be the most watched event in the universe. Or even the world. Great. I always wanted to have a huge audience for my death. That's the spirit! Stu Steuben here for the start of the Intergalactic Griffball League's third season. Tonight is the game we've all been hearing about as Team Heretic takes on Slipspace. No doubt everyone listening to this is familiar with the controversy surrounding the new alien team. A controversy that has led to record sales of Griffball team merchandise and corporate sponsorships. Just today, five different companies have sponsored the elites and then subsequently dropped them for morality reasons. Their current sponsor is the gigantic software company Me who I'm being told has just dropped them. <laughs> things are moving quickly. So, how's the team? Okay, all things considered. Kind of like the atmosphere on death row. Maybe I should talk to them. Pep them up. Yeah, I don't think that's probably a good idea. I wrote a speech already. Maybe you just tell them good luck. Or shake their hands. Or you could just wave. Like from the doorway. You think? Yeah, quiet confidence. Let them know you're there. Then the speech. Nah, I say you just go with the quiet confidence thing. That's a solid statement. I like it. Me too. It's good you thought of it. Well, I have a lot of experience at coaching. Maybe you could be a coach someday, Flint. That's nice of you to say. I mean, I'll probably be dead in the next few hours, but still, nice of you to say. How's it going, guys? How do you think it's going? Remember, just stick to the plan. I don't think update your will is much of a plan. I mean, the game plan. If we stick together and stay out of the way, we might all live through this. Everyone knows they're going to win, so if they score on us, no one will be surprised. Five goals and we all go home. Just make it look good. Right. We just need to make five goals. No. They make the five goals. But then they would win. Right, which is going to happen anyway. So if we let them score... Then they win. Exactly. Make sense? When do we score? Um, tomorrow? Oh, okay. That makes sense. Great. All on the same page, then. Oh, also, Coach wanted to say something to you all. Coach! That's it? I think you'll all agree that went about as well as it possibly could. He seemed really confident. Okay, showtime, everybody. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. From the far distant system of Sang Helios, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, the bad boys of Griffball Team And your home planet favorites, Slip Space! Yeah, go Slip Space! Thanks, buddy! Well, it looks like the two teams will be foregoing the traditional friendly handshake for this match. All right, both teams are lined up. We're ready for the first ball spawn in three, two... Just remember the plan. One! Here we go! Well? Heretic seems to have started with a team kill. Arr! And another. Slipspace seems a little confused, as do the aliens. Oh, now they're racing for the ball. Heretic takes first possession, <laughs> and then immediately takes out his only remaining teammate. A questionable strategy at best. Hey, Flint, what are they doing? These guys are terrible. Uh, guys? What do I do? I, I guess, hit him? Um, score. Slip space? So much for your big plan. That's a score, baby! Well, the team has respawned. Let's see if the elites can do better this- ah! Nope, not any better. Dibs on the 
score. You got to do the last one. Well, it's halftime here at the Griffball Palace, and I'm not really sure what to say. The score is a shocking 4-0 with five rounds left to play, and Team Slipspace has a commanding and a very surprising lead over Team Heretic, who I'm not sure really understands the concept of an athletic sport. At one point, they managed to score on their own goal, which I'm not sure is even technically possible. The ball is specifically designed not to do that. You see, I was like, zoop, and that Elliot was like, what? And I went, uh-uh, score! How you like me now, aliens? You guys are doing great! Yeah, we are. On a relative scale. Probably was my speech. Probably, coach. Well, look what the cat dragged in. Hey, Kamish. Great team. Hey, guys. Nice first half. Kamish, what's going on out there? I don't know. I guess we should have covered the rule book with them a little better, or maybe even translated into their language. Kind of overlooked that part. Rules are overrated. It's all about heart. Yeah, well, heart and a basic understanding of the purpose of the game. But mostly heart. Right. Listen, though, I do need to ask you guys a favor. Favor? Yeah, we kind of need you guys to, uh, lose. To what? To lose. In the second half. We need you to kind of tank. Hi, I'm Tank. That's me. Not now, Le Donk. Okay. Well, I have a couple of questions. One of them being, how? But mainly, why? Well, people really expected the aliens to win. We've done a lot of marketing around them. I talked to the other owners, and they all agree that a great alien team is good for business. And a bad alien team... A terrible alien team. Worst alien team ever. Is not so good for business. Why is that our problem? Maybe we're just really good. We're not. I said maybe. Well, it's kind of everybody's problem, because I guarantee the networks and our merchandisers certain ratings, and to do that, I kind of had to use all the teams and league assets as collateral. You bet our teams against our teams? Seemed like a slam dunk at the time. You can't do that without our coach's permission. Oh, right. We did do that. Yeah, seemed like a real slam dunk. Who knew? Whoa, 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 whoa. Doesn't it usually work the other way, where the underdog team has to win the game to save the league? Th this is unbelievable. Well, it could mean good things for Griffball. And that could mean good things for you. Probably not, though. Like a new practice field? You could have this stadium. Don't quote me on that. Profit sharing and the network deal? That seems fair. No promises. And we don't have to pay for our uniforms out of our paychecks anymore. I think we could work that out. Void in all 50 states. Tank? Jacques? Anything you want? I would like free advertising for my charitable foundation. I didn't know you had one. I would also like my own charitable foundation. Tank? Well, I don't know. Um, I guess I'd be willing to do it if they let us win this game. That's all that really matters to me. We'll just make him a trophy. So, uh, we have a deal? Stu Stuman here with your post-game wrap-up in what can only be called the most ridiculous and longest comeback of all time. Team Heretic pulled out the win 5-4 in a record-setting six-hour second half. Well, that was a hard game, fellas. But I guess you could say we did what we had to do. I thought we were going to be able to pull that one out for a few minutes. We. Oui. It was a close one. I got a trophy. Well, Coach, there's always next season. Yep. Yeah, we'll get them next year. Last one in the new stadium has to be the goalie. Thank you for watching this episode of Red vs. Blue. If you want to check out more, go to Rooster Teeth. It's an app, it's a website, it's a lot of stuff.